Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to look at the ED2023 uh, little thing that they dropped, little video. We're going to break it down, see what we can get from it. I'm not going to waste your time, so let's jump in. Uh, right off the bat, this, the video starts with this video was created with NVIDIA DLSS and multi-threading. A lot of people have been waiting for this multi-threading thing. So I'm really hoping this is ED's way of hinting that, uh, hey, we're working on it and we're making progress. Hopefully they'll have something to show in 2023. All right, so here we go. We get a big ED logo, Apache against the sun. Very nice. It's a good start. We got the inspirational quote. Can't do without that. Now, as you guys watch this video, if there's anything I miss in my little breakdown here, feel free to put it in the comment section. I'd love to see uh, if you guys picked up on something that maybe I missed. So, okay, uh, we got the clouds. ED did a lot of work on the clouds, the, the moving weather, all that kind of stuff the, the last year. I doubt we'll see any more of that. Uh, we have right here, we have the SB3 Viking. This is the refueling aircraft. One of the many AI aircraft that ED has been uh, working on the exterior model of, making them look a little bit better, a little bit nicer. Uh, you know, the gear is functional. Everything looks a lot better in the uh, Viking here. We'll continue on. We got the C-130 with the back door open. We know we're getting one of those in DCS. Look at that, wonderfully rendered. Everything's in there, lots of detail in the back. So this thing's probably coming along. Uh, probably not too far out, I would hope. Uh, we have here the cockpit of a Kiowa. Um, at first, I thought this was a C-130, but it's not. It's a Kiowa cockpit, very clearly. And uh, hopefully, you know, we're going to see something from the Kiowa finally. Uh, a lot of us thought it was going to come out a lot sooner. Still not here, but we're hoping for 2023. We have here the B-52 being shown. Uh, a lot of people confused about this B-52 model that's constantly being shown throughout this, uh, this little trailer. People asking, like, oh, is ED giving us a flyable B-52? No, I don't think so. I don't believe that to be the case. I think just like the Viking, they're showing you the external model of the B-52 that they've been working on. Um, and that's why I think they keep showing the B-52. I do not think we're getting a flyable version of the B-52. At least not anytime soon. Uh, there it is. The beautiful Phantom. Everyone's been waiting for that. We got a little silhouette kind of image of it. We'll continue on. And here we have the B1 Lancer. And a lot of people, just like the B-52, being like, oh, we're getting a flyable B1 Lancer. What's going on? No, we are not getting a B1 flyable Lancer. I do not believe that to be the case. Once again, just like the B-52, they're showing off their new external 3D model for the new, for the AI, essentially. That's what this is. We'll continue on. We have the F-16. Hopefully that's going to get a lot of, uh, you know, love in the upcoming year. We have the Super Carrier, looks like. Bunch of Hornets. Arlie Burks in the background. Uh, F-14 Tomcat. Looks like a B model from the nozzles there, the engines. Uh, here we go. Once again, another silhouette of the F-4. We're not seeing too much detail from the F-4. We keep getting kind of silhouettes of it. Uh, we have the F-14 flying over some city that I can't really recognize, the map area. Let me know what you guys think, but it looks like new lighting, possibly Syria, possibly Sinai map, uh, Egypt map, if you will, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got the Apache in Israeli colors there. Uh, here we go, our first look at the F-4 Phantom that isn't a silhouette. Uh, we got, looks like the external models really, really... You know, it's come along. It looks like it's almost nearly done. I can't see too many things that need to be done externally. I can't speak for internals, of course, but uh, this thing was supposed to come out in 2022, but it got delayed and, you know, you want the job to be done properly. So I would actually guess that the F4 is probably closer to done than not done. That's my opinion, at least. We'll see if I'm right about that. Uh, we got the B-52 here once again, ED showing like how the gears work and all those 3D models they've done. There's the F-15 Strike Eagle. We've showed that off on the channel before. Uh, there it is, beautiful Strike Eagle with B-52 in the in the background there. Uh, once again, F-4 Phantom. Very nice externals. There's the uh, GBU-15. I don't believe that exists in DCS, so possibly a new weapon. Uh, we have the Pyramids, once again, the Sinai map. Uh, or call it Egypt, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it looks pretty good. This this is a pretty nice map, it looks like. 
Um, we've got lots of desert maps in DCS, but you know, this one's a nice one. Once again, we have uh, strike eagles flying over a city, which I can't quite identify. Might be Syria, might be Sinai. Let me know what you guys think about that one. We got here the C-130. Looks like it's under Canadian colors there. Big thumbs up for ED on that one. Good choice for the trailer there. We got a camera looking out the back of the C-130. You got an F-16, so lots of detail. At least we know there's a camera in the C-130 looking backwards. Let's uh, look at this image here. This one, there's quite a bit to talk about. I think this is uh, the Marianas map, but I think it's the World War II version of the Marianas map that DCS is working on. It's Guam, you know, that whole Pacific theater action that uh, everyone's really been asking for. We have uh, two Corsairs at the top there. First time I think we're seeing those in the trailer. Um, off in the distance is that little hilly terrain, but you see these kind of like hut buildings with the straw. That's how I'm guessing this is not the modern Marianas map that we have. This is the old World War II version. The straw huts here and in the back there. Um, other than that, it looks like a bunch of World War II assets. You know, the soldiers, the Shermans, the tents. Kind of hoping that this is ED's way of saying they're going to show some love to World War II, but specifically the Pacific Theater, because I think they could do some real special things over there. Okay, continuing on, we got Corsair here. Looks like in the background we have modern Marianas off in the distance. They're not the World War II version of the map. Well, we got, uh, once again, F4 Phantom kitted out with four Sidewinders. Uh, there's the Viking again over the carrier. A uh, very low pass by the B-52. This scene actually uh, got a lot of people talking that this was a flyable B-52. And the reason for that is because people rarely saw the AI do such low passes like this. It looks very controlled by a person. But ED a little while ago dropped an update for the AI where they basically taught them how to fly low without being scared of hitting the ground. So AI are now capable of flying super low like this. Um, so this that for that reason, I don't believe this is a flyable B-52 once again. That is an AI-controlled B-52. But, I mean, it is nice to see ED putting in those AI updates. We got some Swiss Hornets here. We got London Bridge. This is the new World War II map. And uh, Paris here. This map, I believe, is supposed to be connected together. Um, we got the Eiffel Tower in the distance there. And, uh, yeah, this looks like a good little, you know, World War II map here. Once again, we got the Corsair. This looks like the Marianas map. We can't tell if it's modern or World War II version. Those bombers in the distance, I don't believe those to be uh, Japanese bombers. Those look like just standard uh, Junker 88s. Uh, MiG-29, Polish, uh, Mirage. Here, once again, we have the F-4, Markava tanks, A-10s. Nothing really too much to discuss here, right up until this point. Now, ED has never shown another mod in this trailer, or I think in the last one also. Um, the A4, for those of you who don't know, is currently a third-party mod. You can just get it for free. Um, I think there were some licensing issues. It was supposed to be an official module, but because of licensing issues, I believe, it never made it to that state. It just got released for free. So ED showing it in the trailer like this makes me wonder if they got something in the works. Possibly, you know, they've managed to iron out some licensing issues or they are working on that at least. Um, and they're hinting that the A4 may be coming to DCS in an official capacity, which would definitely be pretty cool. I think everyone would love an A4. Uh, but that's my theory about this little scene here. Let me know what you guys think. But that's the best I could come up with. Um, there's a F4 once again kitted out with all the Sidewinders and the uh, Sparrows. A beautiful sight to behold. Carrying on, there's the Strike Eagle. Uh, this here, once again, this is the cockpit from the beginning of the video. This is the Kiowa. We have M4s up on the dash there. Um, so that again, looking pretty good. Uh, some World War II, we got the Vigan. And right here, we got a laser. I would guess that this is from the Kiowa, uh, lighting up a technical off in the distance there. Lots of footage from the Kiowa, so I'm hoping we're gonna get something this year from that finally. Uh, there's a the Kiowa once again. And right here, Corsairs, looks like a bunch of, you know, ships. Can't quite tell if the World War II or not, but off in the distance we have an airfield. That is the Marianas World War II map, is what it looks like to me. We have uh, Mirage F1s blasting overhead. You see that little shake effect as they go over? I hope they put that into DCS. That's a pretty cool little effect. Um, we also have in this picture a Phalanx system down here. Um, that I believe was shown in the 2022 trailer as well. 
quote, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was, um, land-based failing systems. So hopefully we get to see that finally, new air defense systems come to DCS. And finally, there's this scene right up here. Once again, F4, Apache looking good right here. People have speculated that that aircraft that's currently being lit up over there, that is a Japanese Zero. Other people have said it's a Fokker Wolf 190. You guys will have to let me know what you think. We don't have a clear image of it, but it does kind of look like a Zero. It's kind of hard to tell, but it kind of goes with uh, the theory there that ED is trying to introduce some assets to make a Pacific Theater kind of possible with the drop of the Corsair. Um, at an AI Japanese Zero may be in the works. I don't know. I hope so. Um, it would be really cool. I don't think we're getting a flyable Japanese Zero. That's not what's being implied at all. Um, but an AI version just to drop with the World War II Marianas map in the Corsair with some Japanese assets to actually shoot down uh, would be pretty cool. So I think possibly that's what's being shown here. Okay, carrying on, um, right here we have something being shot down, very clearly has Japanese circles on the wings insignia, um, but the question is, is that an FW-190 painted in Japanese colors, or is that an actual Mitsubishi Zero? You guys will have to let me know what you think on that one. Um, Alright, standard uh, Sparrow shot, Splash 1 MiG-29. Corsair lighting up, uh, looks like a U-boat there. F4, Mirage F1. Uh, unknown who's doing the shooting, possibly a Corsair, but it looks like it's lighting up a Junkers 88, possibly. Um, but off in the distance, you can once again tell that this is the Mariano's World War II version based on those buildings and huts right there. And here we have the Russian LA-7. This is the only, you know, segment we see of this thing in the in the trailer so i'm not sure how far along this thing has progressed uh, mig 29 being shot down b1 lancer a low pass uh, once again that is an ai asset mirage f1s absolutely destroying an airfield a10 and all of this looks pretty standard and right here i'm gonna pause it let's talk about this scene right here we have f4s flying over what appears to be a tropical area dare I say Vietnam. I don't think there's a Vietnam map in the works. I really wish that this was hinting at that. I don't think that's the case. I think this is just the Marianas map. Um, but, you know, if the F4 comes out with a Vietnam map, that'd be pretty cool. But again, I don't think that's going to be the case. But uh, just have a look at this F4 dropping these bombs and tell me what you think about the, the explosion pattern, if you will. Look at this. Whoa, look at that. Does that kind of look like napalm to you guys? I don't know. Let me know. Is it a ripple of a bunch of bombs, like a bunch of Mark 82s being dropped, like 7, 8, 9, 10 of them? Um, and it, it looks like that. Or is that napalm? It'd be pretty cool if it was napalm, right? Um, let me know. Because that would be a whole new effect for DCS, a large, you know, explosion like that. Um, carrying on, once again, the F4. Looks like a Fokker Wolf 190 being shot down. Strike Eagle dropping bombs. Hornet. Check out that external shot of the rear of an F4 Phantom. That thing looks like it's got some real nice detail. Uh, looks like it might be on par with the F14 model, um, as expected. It, it looks really, really good. And like I said, I think the F4 might be pretty close to release. Uh, Corsair doing its thing. And once again, you see we're being shown the A4 once again, strange to get two shots of a mod in a trailer. So make of that what you want. Um, here we have F1s doing a bombing run, but look at those explosions. Do those look new? I don't know if Edie's trying to say that they may have got some new explosion effects in the works. I don't know, but those don't look like our standard explosions that we have in DCS. They look a lot nicer. So I hope that that's a thing. We got some Mirages, F4 once again. And look at that, look at that massive explosion. This might be that same thing that I said was napalm. It's a bunch of bombs being dropped uh, consecutively and it looks like a massive explosion. Looks like napalm from certain angles. Maybe not. You guys will have to let me know what you think. If ED is actually making napalm for us, that'd be pretty cool. Continue on. We got Corsair, Mirage F1. Look at this. Does that not kind of look like napalm to you guys? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but you know, I hope ED will do that. 
once again, we have an external shot of the Kiowa. Once again, looking pretty good. Uh, dare I say that will come soon. I don't want to jinx it. That was the F4. And then that's where it ends. Or does it? This is the part where ED gives you a little hint about what's coming next year. Maybe the next two years, possibly. But this is the part where they hint about what they're going to be working on. And what we see is a lot of people saw this and thought Blackhawk. You know, but it's not a Blackhawk. It is a... Come on. Chinook. <laughs> it's a Chinook. All right, so ED is working on a Chinook. Look at that external model. That looks really good. Looking really nice. Pretty cool, man. Chinook, I guess. That's what we're going to be working on. There's something else. Hold on. Coming soon to DCS World. Very nice. Very good. And one more thing we're going to be getting. A lot of people actually left the video by here. They don't really know there's more. There's a little hint at the end. They thought the Chinook was the hint. Uh, but there's actually another one. You can see right here. That's a Hellcat. We are getting a Hellcat. <laughs> at least that's my guess. Pretty obvious, I would say, from that from that hint there. But uh, that kind of lends itself to my little theory that ED is pushing towards the Pacific Theater and they want to drop more assets for that. I think that's a really good idea. Pacific Theater has uh, is largely untapped, in my opinion. I think ED can do some really special things over there. Okay, guys, that's the breakdown. Let me know if I missed anything, if there's something you picked up that I missed, and uh, I'll be watching in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.